Any day you can ride with the vets is a good day. I informed our country after 9-11 that we would use our influence and power to defend our country. Millions volunteered. Many have come back and are doing fine. Some need help. And to the extent that I can help them transition from military to civilian life, I want to be a part of the solution. When you're in service, you all are working together towards a common goal. You know, everything from the mission to even wearing the uniform makes you feel like you're part of something bigger than yourself. And then oftentimes that's one of the things that veterans struggle with the most when they leave the service is losing that sense of camaraderie, that sense of purpose. And so being out here, it really brings that back. Cycling for me was a, was a form of therapy. And it wasn't just riding the bike, it was the relationships that I was able to make with uh, fellow veterans and seeing some that were further along in their recovery or further along in their life. A lot of people have come together to help vets deal with post-traumatic stress. This bike ride is one way to help, but more importantly, vets talking to vets is the best way to get people to admit they have a problem and then seek help for the problem. For me, I use fitness to deal with my post-traumatic stress and anxiety. Uh, I used to be a really avid runner, but I got too injured to run. So I've been used cycling as a way to stay active and stay healthy. And what I love about cycling is how we can do it as a community. When I got out, I, I gained over 100 pounds. So I sensed, um, when I say uh, I found mountain biking, I, I think mountain biking really found me. I feel troubled that some have come back with post-traumatic stress. And frankly, our society was not doing that much to address it. Veterans are going to lead our, our, our country in the future. And to the extent that we can help them, uh, we want to do so. And so it's a major initiative of the Bush Center, and it's a major priority of my post-presidency. I think these uh, programs are, are truly vital uh, to us veterans, uh, especially when we're transitioning out of the military. A lot of times we just don't know how to ask for help or, you know, come together. And uh, these type of events truly bring, uh, bring us together as far as the camaraderie and uh, helps us uh, gain what we sort of lost in transition. A lot of times veterans will separate from the service and not know what's available to them or what kind of path they're going to have. These opportunities offer you to expand your network because it's more than just a bike ride. It's a way to get to know other people in other fields and other areas of opportunity. You can learn from them. I made the decision to put many of these uh, combat troops in combat. And, uh, and I feel personally responsible for, the, for helping them. I've been coming here since 2015. It really helps to bridge the gap in transition. Just coming out here and being part of Team 43 is just amazing. Um, I mean, you're shredding the trails with the Commander-in-Chief, but then the, also, the other part is just hanging out with my other uh, veterans out there. I have not stopped smiling since I got here. It's really encouraging to see President Bush take such good care of this community. You know, in a day and age when our country seems to be turning inward, hanging out with these vets is uh, such a refreshing change to the current uh, culture. Uh, and to the extent that our society can help them, we need to do so.